Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who is worthy calls God, Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who is worthy calls Jesus, Bahashem is in the name, Rakakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. Never honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone every well, and peace, blessing, and salutations to the whole full leg scattered abroad brothers that's uh fighting and pushing this truth and truth uh in sincerity you know to, to, to those brothers i say shalom and to uh, those very few sisters that listen and tune in you know and i say very few but nevertheless i'm the brother you want to coming back with, with another lesson through the spirit of power yabash Shah. lowell in this lesson is edifying you know and uh i just got a little exhortation you know through the spirit <laughs> you know i've been it's been a long, you know, 30 hours, if I may say. But, hey, man, Romans 15 and 4, you know, when you get in these situations, as far as hey, when the Lord brings you to a low estate, you have nothing but hey, to a hey, hey, trust upon the Lord. Not only just trust upon the Lord, but you got nothing to, hey, to recite and read these scriptures, okay? Because in this hell, Babylon the Great, Yahweh Bashem al Shah has left us a the comforter, you know, Holy Spirit. But a Yahweh Bashem al Shah has left us a these words, man. Okay, he has left us these scriptures, you know. And you know what? Let's begin. Uh, let's begin at this. Let's get a little steamy, you know. that I know myself, I bring this scripture a lot because, you know, hey, this is how Jake say in the world, hey, this is facts, man, okay, it was written for our learning, it was written for our edification, to edify means to build up, you know, and it says through patience and comfort, okay, patience means suffering, so this is like, hey, how about your mouth shot, like Job, hey, told his wife, he said, shall we, re shall, shall we receive good of the most high and not receive evil, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, the Heavenly Father may sometime bring you to a low estate, you know, but it, it says how the Most High would not tempt you more than you are able, roughly paraphrasing. The Lord ain't going to bring you through a situation, you know, to roll you through the ringer. It's easier to make, it's either to make us or break us, man. You know, and another scripture I'm thinking about is uh, second, not second, uh, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes. The second chapter starting at the 10th verse It says look at the generations of old And see did ever any Trust in the Lord and was confounded Or did any abide in his Fear and was forsaken Or whom did he ever despise that Called upon him You know it's like a pre to Romans the 15th Chapter just to line up and show you That a hey, Yahweh Bashim al Shah Here's our cries man in the book of Revelation The 8th chapter it says how hey, You know our prayers you know, are getting, you know, our prayers are getting sent unto the Heavenly Father, and He's hearing them, man. You know what? Let me get that scripture right quick, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashem al Shah, Lord willing, we be a part of that number, all right, that hopeful elect, that glorious number. Hey, the Lord hears our prayers, man. You know, uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 8. And let me start at verse 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he that he should offer it with prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which which us uh, like it which was before the throne right so the saints meaning the israelites but it's starting with the elect right and verse 4 says and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before the Mosai out of the angel's hands right so just to show you that our prayers you know, are getting shot straight up to a the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? You know, so in time of distress, in time of tribulation, a the Heavenly Father hears our prayers, man. The Lord hears our prayers, man. You know, and the Lord just doesn't hear our prayers. You know, and Yahweh Shemal Shah, you know, is keeping us, man. 
you know, and Lord willing, I'm going to make a lesson uh, later on today, uh, 1033, call out Bashman Shah, I'm going to make a lesson on a the Fort Lauderdale flooding, you know, the Fort Lauderdale flooding, the Fort Lauderdale rain, or however I'm going to title the lesson, but it says how a hey, we shall be visited, you know, with uh, earthquake, light, lightning, and tempest, roughly paraphrasing, man, and I was just over, you know, I was at the... Um, you know, I was in that area, really in the in the heart of Fort Lauderdale slash Hollywood. And when I tell you, man, the flooding, you know, people's cars getting stranded, man. This is something that you see on, you know, an end time movie, man. Jacob's Trouble Light, man. And you know, I'm in a I'm in um a, a scenario, if I may say, but I'm around individuals, and it's like, man, you know, they're going crazy. Everybody want answers. You know, people's <laughs> reservations are getting delayed you know i'm not really trying to too much reveal where i work at but nevertheless man and in those times hey yahab bashimah shah hey yahab bashimah shah has built has you know is allowing us to to get built it up you know for the situations hey, that we are going into man yahab bashimah shah is building us up for when there isn't no food man you know, and a hey, beloved brother Ba'ar, <laughs> he put the scripture in the chat, but it says, a man shall desire to go into a city. You know, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You know, I'm talking about it was blocked off. You know, but in them times, and hey, we got the scriptures, man. As it is written in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, in the sixth verse, is written that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. Hey, for the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see? So this wisdom and knowledge, this wisdom, Salakia, this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, and which which we have been given through the Holy Spirit, is going to keep us in the times of mayhem. It's going to keep us in the time of pandemonium, man. You know, and I witnessed a time of pandemonium where everybody's asking questions. Everybody wants to know what's going on, and this is on a lighter on a lighter scale, man. How much more when there ain't no food in these stores, man? How much more when there ain't no water in these stores, man? How much more when you got a family crying unto you, telling you they hungry, man? You know? <laughs> you know, and I was thinking about that Job, the fifth chapter, man. Through that whole time, hey, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Now, I'll be, a, I'll be a liar if I didn't say, you know, you got some times, and it's just really the flesh. You got some times of uncertainty, hey, but this is when you, yeah, you pray. You pray until you have about your mouth shot. Not only you just pray, but you resort back unto what? These scriptures. Because again, it's gonna be the stability of our times, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get Job the fifth chapter, man. It says, at destruction, that shall laugh, man. You know, in these in, in situations when everybody is unsure, everybody's asking questions, you know, you will be that light in the room and everybody's wondering, what does he know? They asking you the questions, you know, because you're not as phased, you're not as worried. You know, because you understand, hey, hey, the, hey, the Lord got us. Hey, how about Shemal Shah got us, man? You know, because it's going to get worse here in America. It's going to get worse here. Okay. So we're getting built it up for the times that we are entering. The Lord is building us up for the times that we are entering to, man. A time like never before. The time like Jacob's trouble. The t A time like when man is going to have no pity upon his neighbor, man. You know, it's a little convenience store inside where I work. You literally have people buying eight, nine, ten sandwiches, man, just for themselves and their family. Just imagine when it's, it's scarce. And that was just rain. That was just water. Hey, just imagine when the Lord turns it up on this place, man. It's, it's, it's going to get real here, man. Okay, but guess what we resort back onto? We resort back to the basics and i'm not talking about the simplicity of the scriptures i'm talking about and hey, which we have been taught resorting back to the scriptures a time of distress a call upon the lord a time of distress and using this wisdom knowledge and understanding because again it's going to be the stability of our times now this is the book job okay this is the book job chapter 5 verse 17 behold happy is the man who the most high corrected Therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty, you see? So happy, you know, happy is he who the Most High corrected. You know, we go through certain situations and the Lord may sometimes hey, be judging us, not only judging us, but reproving us, correcting us, chastising us, man. Okay, verse 18, for he make it sore and bind it up. He wounded and make his hands whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. 
you know but it says in seven there shall no evil touch thee you see so the six troubles is you know right before the destruction and the seven troubles is a hey, when the destruction happens seven being a number of completion okay it says verse 20 in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in, and in war from the power of the sword that shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue neither shall thou be afraid when destruction slack it neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh man and this is what i wanted to grab at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh man you know when you see people going all crazy you know when you see people trying to figure out what they gonna eat okay when you see destruction when you see man things that hey, we have never experienced man the lord is gonna have a spirit on us to where we're rejoicing or we're laughing man you know so this lesson uh salaki for being all over the place hey but the lesson is what man you know romans the 15 chapter the four verse the things are really four time real far learning the lord has left us are something to look back upon the lord has left us in these scriptures again Isaiah the 33rd chapter the 6th verse man while the rest of the world is gonna want answers hey, the Lord has given us an opportunity to get on game right now man you know so this was just my spirit the Lord will not come back with an, uh, another lesson later you know to the next time giving all praises glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rekapadash the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone every world peace blessing to the elect to the next time Shalom Allah